Welcome back to Gin Reviews from South Florida. Tonight, we're going back to Texas again to do another Treaty Oak Distillery gins. This time we're doing Waterloo Old Yapon Gin. A gin joke. All right. Treaty Oak, Treaty Oak. We love Treaty Oak, especially me. Uh, we're coming in at 45% made in Texas, like we know. Grain is the base, thank God. Botanicals, aniseed, juniper, of course, macro lime, orris root, yapon hale, and that's that. So, here's the bottle right here. And uh, so, when I was doing the other uh, treaty oak, um, the rum the other day, and the antique before that. I came across this bottle and I was like, oh, you know what? I've never like done a proper review for this. And it is actually one of my favorite, one of my favorite gins. This is their take on an old Tom uh, and a couple other really cool things. So, Botanicals, Old Yapon, Yapon, Yapon. It is the only um, native to the United States or North America plant that contains caffeine, which is really cool. And they use it as their botanical. I love the honey part of it. I mean, it definitely is sweet and it is really nice. Um, so the most intriguing of the botanicals is the Yapon. It is only native North American plant to contain caffeine. It was widely consumed by indigenous American people's pre-European settlement. It grows rampant in its native range, uh, spanning from Texas to the Carolinas across the Gulf Coast. It's widely considered a pest by farmers and ranchers. However, it's been making a comeback as a beverage. Similar to the Eat the Invaders movement, which suggests we can eat invasion, 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 uh, invasive species into submission, Yapon tea is widely available, and Waterloo Old Yapon Gin is the only gin I know I know that has this as a botanical. So, yeah, it's been a while. All right, so I really just, this is the way I always drink this. Right on the rocks. I'll do it first this way, but then I always add a little bit of lime. Just beautiful. Mm. So, very bold juniper, very bold botanicals. I could smell the grain and the honey um, right away, but that juniper is just perfect. There is a little citrus on the nose, um, and it is that lime, and I'm going to amplify my drink here with just a little squeeze of lime. Stir it around. Salud. Mm. Wow. It's definitely bold. Um, it is uh, an old Tom for sure too. It has been casted or cast and, but it's not like whiskey. It's smoother. It's it's more. It's less oaky than you would think. Let's say that. It's slightly sweet. The dark honey makes an appearance right after the juniper, which I love. Um, there is a little bit of an astringency, maybe a little bit of tannic, yeah. Um, but it's very sweet and very herbaceous, and I definitely recommend this gin uh, to any person that really enjoys a beautifully crafted Old Tom, or just a beautifully crafted uh, contemporary style gin, because this is really outrageous. Uh, out of all the Waterloo products out there, this one is my absolute favorite. <laughs> mm. Oh man, I can taste the aniseed, I can taste the lime, obviously. There's just so much going on with this. And at 45%, you can't go wrong. So, if you see a bottle of Treaty Oak right here, out there in the great wide yonder, 
pick it up. You won't be disappointed coming from me. Well, from me to you, to you to me, and your own house here in the States in the middle from sea to shining sea, thank you so much for coming back in. I know this was a real quick one today, uh, but again, I want people to know how amazing Treaty Oak is in general. I mean, they're products I have not had a bad experience with any of their gins and that rum the other night oh man was that good so uh yeah short and sweet right to the point have a good one salute uh your bastards bye